Okay, I was gonna quickly show you my method of madness for when I'm pulling apart, doing uh, the deeper diagnostics for the voltage. Uh, so, first of all, uh, write down each wire number that goes to the breaker side breaker. Like this one's five and five and nine. That's L three. Then come right here to the chart. Figure three phase delta. Um, 122.40.208. So, for those who are not familiar with voltages, that's the neutral right there. Right there, L1 and L2 will put out 120 to ground. L3 will put out 208 because it has to travel through all these windings to get back to the, the low point. The neutral. The, the, basically the neutral and uh, but yeah and that's where a lot of people get screwed up is that that L3 that's a stinger so that's gonna be put out 208 instead of 120 to ground so uh, beware with it uh, when you're um, you know swapping leads around on a generator make sure it's not you're not gonna be putting a 120 load on a 208 circuit because uh, you blow stuff up that way um, all right well I'm gonna go ahead. I still got a bunch of leads to separate. Once you separate all the leads, and I come back up here to this chart and look at each of the windings. So like one and four is a winding, or well, yeah, winding, excuse me. And then 11 and eight are a winding, two and five is a winding, 12 and nine is a winding. You have to go through all of them and check the resistance with a mager, which is Essentially, I'll show you in a second, but it puts out like 600 volts into the winding and then it checks its resistance at the same time to make sure the resistance value is all right so that you're not just putting like 9 volts through it like with your uh, a basic multimeter. Then you're going to you want to take all those numbers and compare them together, make sure they're you know pretty close, and then you want to take every single lead and you want to test them to ground to see, make sure that uh, none of them are short to ground. So yeah, that's where we stand. Okay, so I'm back. I got the mager hooked up. Yeah, put it at 500 volts, not a thousand, because there's no need to go that far. I'm gonna push it up. So we got zero ohms resistance between them. That's a single winding, so that's good. So that means the winding's good. Um, so I'm just going to go through all the windings to do that. At the same time, I'm going to test the ground. And actually, I'll do the ground test right now. See, I'm hooking onto the ground lug. Interesting. Let's see if... Uh, Make sure his wires are separated. Where's wire one at? There's wire one hanging midair. So there's something definitely wrong with this alternator. It looks like it might be shorter to ground. I'm going to check my connections again because I might be stupid as a box of rocks. Go over. Yeah, they look good. So, I'm going to go through them and, and uh, get my readings. So, Gus got done doing the Mega Ohm testing. And... Pretty much that's one of the best ones there. And drum roll, here's results. And obviously you could tell it's done. Zeros mean that there's uh, zero voltage and zero resistance. So the circuit is shorter together. So this part, uh, will lead uh, six and three and 12 and nine are shorted out. Six and three, or six and three, six and three is supposed to be shorted out. 
uh, so that one shorted out. Two and five, that's cracked. Um, but yeah, you can tell like 0 0.05 and 88 volts, that's no good. This one is eh, borderline okay, but not, not even close to being great. So, what I'm going to say is, I recommend this alternator be replaced. So, I mean, I'll give you a quick image into the belly of the beast. There's the warnings from the outside look okay. There's something definitely going on internally, so yep. Recommend a new alternator or a new generator. So anyway, anyway, to recap what we did, we checked the the photo board by shining our flashlight in here, making sure it won't produce voltage. So we know that at least at bare minimum the SCR and SCR and the photo board are bad. Uh, this light's not putting out because I bet it's not receiving. And output because the the voltage regulator is fried now because of all this. So I'm gonna go ahead and write it up as needs alternator, voltage regulator, SCR, photo board, and um, about three days of time just to because it's out in the sticks. So all right, well there you go. Have a good one.